Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your guy Coldfire and today we are going to be reacting to the second part of the Madonna music promo tour live at Brixton Academy in London. Um, and if the first one didn't get blocked then this one probably will as well. So what I like to do is release one part and if it goes through then I release a second part, and if it does get blocked, we might have to wait a little bit for the second part to come out. But anyways, let's kick it off. She has been awesome. She just got through doing Don't Tell Me with the Hot Cowboys and Dickie and Nana, Nikki and Donna with her. So let's keep it up. What? Bellissima. Oh, thank you. I would like to um, dedicate this next song to all the pop bitches out there, <laughs> including myself. To every girl who did it. Sing it, girl. When you open up your mouth to speak Could you be a little weak? Do you know what it feels like for a girl? Do you know what it feels like in this world for a girl? You know, I have to say, this song right here was, it was pure brilliancy to take a song and work it where it has two meanings in one, where each represent the other. Because in the, um, the lyrics where she's talking at the beginning, um, she's basically saying... Um, that girls can do all these things, but if a guy does it, it looks, uh, he's talked about and degraded and everything else. Then she spins it back around to say, in other words, you're saying because he looks silly dressing like a girl, then obviously you think 
that us girls look silly doing the things that we do. That's just all my take on that. I I just think that Madonna did a great job at incorporating this song to just break the stereotype right there. And she has I think that, you know, I started down the journey with Madonna and like the Virgin Tour, the very first one I reacted to and you know a lot of people used, uh, I've read about online and everything, you know, people used to swoon over Elvis Presley and the Beatles and Michael Jackson and all that. But Madonna was like the first to to make people like faint and cry and, you know, just do the same thing that all the, those other legendary men did. But Madonna was able to actually, you know... She was such a force to be reckoned with that whenever you saw her, you just felt like you were going to drop dead. When I went to her celebration tour, I couldn't hardly move. I literally was so in shock. I just couldn't believe I was even there. And she was right in front of me. But anyways, let's finish this up. See? How could I come to London and not do one of my old songs? Right? The thing is, which song should I do? I can't hear you. Right. Well, fortunately, this is not a democracy, so we're doing holiday. <laughs> hey. Yeah. And you better show some appreciation. That's her signature song.
know about that? Are you guys not dancing because it's crowded? Is that the reason? Because I just want to ask you a question. Do you like to boogie woogie? Let me see. Do you like to boogie woogie? Okay, show me how you boogie woogie. Make some room. No, 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 move out of this way. Come on, boogie baby. You have to earn it. Okay, do you like to boogie woogie? Let me see, go. Go, oh, that's better. Oh, he's prepared, you like that. Okay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you like to boogie woogie? Put a record on, I wanna dance with my baby
Yes, yes. Be they rich and famous or just damn right lucky. For now, our party continues here with Goldie, but we're going to sign off and say a very good night. Wow. This is hard to believe this is like 2000 or 2001, whatever. And like 24 years after this right yet that she does the celebration tour even if she had stopped with her music album which by the way um i know that um when we get to the grammys part i know that she won a lot of a couple of grammys she was the big winner of the night um at the Grammys in America, that is. Um, but this just goes to show you that if she had just even stopped here, she would still be unsurpassable. She would still be holding the torch as Queen of Pop. Because she... She had done everything. I mean, everything in Pandora's box that could have been done that wasn't supposed to be done, that they were told that women couldn't do, that men got away with for doing for so long, she got away with doing it. I don't know how she done it. It was just smart, just savvy, just brilliant. The way she was able to start out her career and protect and love the marginalized communities across the world. And which would have been damning for most artists. But she had the goods to back it up. This proves it right here. Okay, until my next Madonna reaction, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Um, this is part two. Like I said, hope it doesn't get blocked. <laughs> but I will see you on the next Madonna reaction. I'm going to probably react next. Once I see if these go through. Is the American Grammy. Um, where she does it on the Grammys in America. So I want to wish you guys out there love, peace, and happiness. And to all those out there who are risking their lives to protect ours, I gladly salute you and thank you and love you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.